Smooth talking Rick Perry. Ten years of two step. Perry talks lower taxes, but passed new ones on business. Rails against Washington, but took billions in stimulus money. Acts tough on the border, but supported amnesty. And Perry preaches property rights, but proposed a giant land grab for foreign tolls. Classic Perry two step. Step one, get elected. Step two, do whatever he wants. 25 years as a politician changes you. You think injecting 11 and 12 year old girls with a controversial drug without a parent's consent is a good idea? You think it's right to use a government takeover of Texas homes and property so foreign companies can get rich? You spend taxpayer money on a fancy mansion while Texas faces an $18 billion deficit. On the issues, 25 years as a politician has changed Rick Perry for the worse. Ethical clouds, cronyism, that's what newspapers are saying about Rick Perry. Arrogance, bully tactics, not a bully pulpit, false fiscal conservatism, playing politics with our universities, boondoggles on toll roads, rewarding supporters, punishing opponents, mandating HPV vaccine for girls. That's why almost every major newspaper endorses Kay Bailey Hutchison, a courageous visionary fueled by conservative principles. It's time for Perry to go. This is the arm of an 11-year-old girl. Now, imagine a governor who wanted to take a needle, fill it with a controversial drug for sexually transmitted diseases, and inject it in every 11 and 12-year-old girl in Texas. That's what Governor Rick Perry wanted to do. That's what Governor Perry and his drug company friends wanted him to do. On this issue, we've got one thing to say. Not our daughters, and not in our Texas.